Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to work through a modified vinyasa flow sequence for pregnancy. It's really simple, uh, but it's going to get the whole body moving. I want you to please be really mindful as we move through the sequence. Uh, listen to your body, take care of yourself. If something doesn't feel right, then just back off the pose. Um, and and as we start to pick up the pace just a little bit, please feel free to stay your own pace. Okay? There's, it will be it'll be quite repetitive, so you'll be you'll know the sequence and you'll be able to just do it at your own pace. Um, if you're a bit late in the pregnancy or even earlier, you might want to have two blocks nearby. We'll start with the blocks when we start to go through the flow, but just see how you go. You might not need them. And then just have a couple of cushions as well. Um, and then that's all that we'll need for today. Okay, so we'll make a start. We'll start really nice and slow. <clears throat> Let's just have, start with your feet hip distance apart, just as wide as you need to, so you can feel really comfortable and just steady on your feet. Let's bring the palms, the hands together in front of your chest and we'll just close down the eyes just for a few breaths. And just gently starting to deepen into your breathing, feeling the soles of the feet pressing down and at the same time start to lengthen up through the crown of the head so you get a sense of two directions happening. Grounding down through the feet and lengthening up through the crown of the head. Just allow the belly to be relaxed. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose and then out through the mouth. Two more, just like that. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhaling out through the mouth. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Just come back to breathing in and out through the nose. And then let's open the eyes, release the arms down by your side. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up, pressing down through the feet, looking up towards the thumbs. And then as you exhale, let's draw the hands down through your center line. Just imagine your spine as you do this. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, and then exhale. Last one, inhale, and then exhale. Bring your right arm up, take an inhale. As you exhale, let's just slide the left hand down your side body and then inhale, bring both arms up and then exhaling over to your right hand side, lengthening out through the left fingertips. And then inhale, come back up through center and then exhale over towards the left. And we're gonna go again, inhale, come up through center, exhaling over to the right. And once again, inhale, come up through center and then exhaling over to the left. We're gonna go one more time, inhale, come through center, exhaling over to the right, and let's just hold it here for a couple of breaths. So your right shoulder might be going back here, and you wanna just try to bring that forward, press down through the feet, and really lift out of the waist here. And keep the breath free and easy. And then inhale, come up through center. And let's exhale over to the left. And we'll just hold it over to the left for a few breaths. Once again, just trying to bring that left shoulder forward. Reach out through the right fingertips. And then inhale, come up through center. And just release the, uh, the arms down by your side. I'm just going to turn on my side so you can see me. Keep the feet nice and wide and we're going to just bend our knees, bring the hands down just onto your thighs, roll those shoulders back and down. <clears throat> so from here, keep your spine long, keep the back of the neck long and we're just going to do some cat cows here. So <clears throat> take an inhale, take an arch with the spine, lift your eyes and as you exhale, curl the spine back, tuck the tailbone under and tuck the chin in and then again, inhale to arch the spine, open across the collarbones and then exhale, curve the spine back and then again, inhaling, 
arching the spine or open across the collarbones and then exhale curve the spine back we'll just do that two more times inhale and exhale one more time inhale and exhale and then inhaling just to come all the way back up to standing walk forward on your mat <coughs> have your blocks by your side so they're nice and close inhale to sweep the arms up taking hold of the elbows lengthen up through the waist and then exhale fold forward from the hips you can bend the knees if you need to you can either just bring the hands onto the block or if you're feeling okay you can just bring the hands down in front of you keep the knees slightly soft let the head relax and just hold it here And remember you can open the feet out as wide as you need. Just make plenty of space for your belly. Just a few more breaths here. Keep engaging the quadriceps as well. So keep drawing those kneecaps up. Let's take an inhale. Come up to your halfway lift. And then as you exhale, just soften through the knees and let's come up all the way to standing. So we're going to get ready to start our flowing sequence. We'll start the first couple of rounds really nice and slow. I'll use the blocks for the first round. Standing in Tadasana, reaching out through your fingertips. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up, looking up towards the thumbs. As you exhale, fold forward. Again, feel free to bend those knees, bring those hands down onto the blocks. And then take an inhale, lengthen out into your halfway lift. As you exhale, soften through the knees, step the right leg back. So come into a nice long lunge, place those blocks just so they feel comfortable. Really press down through the hands, press out through that right heel and reach the breastbone forward. So just a few breaths here. Let's try to find a steady spot for the eyes, just on a diagonal down in front of you. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands down. You can bring both hands onto the inside of the, the uh, left foot and then step back into your down facing dog. Hands shoulder distance apart, feet hip distance apart or even just a bit wider, make plenty of space. And then from here, we're gonna inhale forward into our plank position. If this feels way too strong for you, then you can just come down onto your knees. Just take three breaths here. And then we're gonna open the knees out much wider than the hips, bring the big toes together, sit back into your uh, child's pose. You can stay up a little bit high if you need to. If you can, just come down. Just holding it here if the forehead touches the mat then you can just let it relax all the way down and then inhale come back up onto all fours bring those knees back to hip distance apart let the hips relax forward and we just come into a very soft up face dog if that feels too much for you you could always just come up and just do an arch on all fours so just choose what feels good for you and then exhaling press the sit bones back tuck the toes under coming into your down facing dog once again <clears throat> and this time we're going to hold our down dog for about five breaths. Just choose a steady spot in between the ankles just to let your eyes rest. Option here now to lift that right leg up. If it doesn't feel good, then just keep it down. Inhale to lift that right leg up. And then as you exhale, let's step that right foot forward. 
in between the hands or to the outside of that right hand. You can bring your hands onto the blocks. Again, pressing back through that left heel, press that left knee up. And then one more inhale. As you exhale, step that left foot forward, feet nice and wide. Taking an inhale to just lengthen out to your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. If you need to soften your knees here to come up, please do. Otherwise, inhale just to reach the arms out, palms the hands together, and then exhale. Let's releasing back into your Tadasana position. Let's go again, inhaling. Exhale, fold forward. If you don't need your blocks, you can just pop the blocks to the side. <clears throat> inhale, lengthen up, halfway lift. Exhale, soften through the knees, step the left leg back. Onto the fingertips if you're not using your blocks. Just three breaths now. So we'll just move a little bit faster. And then on your next exhale, step that right foot back. Down facing dog. Inhale to come forward into your plank position. Press out through the heels. Open those knees out wide, big toes together, sit back into child's pose. And then inhaling, coming forward, knees hip distance apart, feet hip distance apart. Allow the hips to relax forward into your soft up face dog. And then sitting back towards the heels, tuck the toes under, coming into down facing dog. Five breaths, spreading those fingers. It's free and easy breathing. Again, option here to lift that left leg up, take an inhale. As you exhale, stepping it forward, either in between or to the outside of that left hand, onto the fingertips, onto the blocks. One more inhale. As you exhale, shift the weight slightly back so you can step it forward. And then taking an inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, fold. And then inhale, coming back up to standing. Palms and hands together. Exhale, Tadasana. Going again, inhaling. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right leg comes back. Inhale, reach the chest forward. Exhale, stepping back into your down facing dog. Inhale to come forward into your plank. And then as you exhale, open the knees out wide, big toes together, sit back in child's pose. On your next inhale, let's come forward into our up face dog. And then exhale back into down facing dog. Just holding it here. So you'll be able to feel that we're moving a little bit faster, but remember you can just keep it at your own pace as you need to. Take an inhale to reach that right leg up. Exhale, stepping it forward. Inhale to draw the chest forward and then exhale, stepping the left foot forward. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, coming back up to standing. And then exhale back into Tadasana. Let's go again. Inhaling. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, step the left leg back. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale, back to down facing dog. Inhale, come forward to your plank. Exhale, open the knees, big toes together, sit back onto your heels. Inhale, come forward into your up face dog. Exhale, back into down facing dog. Inhale, extend that right leg up into your three legged dog. Exhale, stepping it forward. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale the left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, release back to Tadasana. We just have a few more rounds left. Take an inhale. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, step the left leg back. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale, stepping back into down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, knees wide, sit back in child's pose. Inhale to come forward into your up face dog. Open across the chest. Exhale back into down facing dog. Five breaths. Really press down, particularly through that index finger and thumb. On your next inhale, lift that left leg up and exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Take an inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale that right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way back up to standing. And then exhale back to Tadasana. Just one more round, right and left. Take an inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen out, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, step the right leg back. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale, stepping back into down facing dog. Inhale to come forward into your plank. Exhale, knees wide, big toes together, sit back on the heels. Inhale, coming forward into your up face dog. Exhale, back, down facing dog. And in your down facing dog, you might want to take a little wiggle around with your hips. It can be nice to just lengthen out through the back. Settle back into stillness for a breath. Take an inhale, extend that right leg up. Exhale, stepping it forward. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale that left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way back up to standing. And then exhale back into Tadasana. We've just got one more round here. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen it, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, step the left leg back. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale, back down facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, knees. Big toes together, sitting back. Inhale to come forward into your up face dog. 
Exhale back into down facing dog. Five breaths. Inhale, extend that left leg up. Exhale to step it forward. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale that right foot forward, fold down. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees. Inhale, coming back up. Palms the hands together. And then exhale. Just release the hands down into prayer in front of the chest. Just close your eyes for a moment. Just notice all the changes that are happening in your body right now. The increase in your heart rate. And just try to slow the breathing down. And then let's open the eyes. I'm just going to turn to face you. You can stay facing in the same direction. Keep the feet nice and wide, even a little bit wider than the hips, and then turn the feet slightly out. Let's take an inhale to sweep the arms up, palms the hands together, and then exhale, just bend into those knees, bring the elbows onto the thighs. So we're coming to a malasana variation here. You can either just stay here, if this feels like it's plenty for you, or if you can, coming down into a deeper squat, Full malasana squat. Elbows on the inside of the thighs if you can. Palms the hands just in front of the chest. And just find your breath here. This can be quite strong. It's a beautiful pose for pregnancy. Opening, opens your hips. another five deep breaths here. If you want a steady gaze for the eyes, you can just uh, drop the eyes down towards your fingertips, but make sure that the head just doesn't drop down. It's just the eyes to so the back and the neck stays long. And so if you are up, if you're up here, just bring the hands down. And if you're down here, just also bring your hands down just to help yourself come all the way to a seated position. We're going to extend those legs out long just for a moment. Just let the legs just relax for a bit. Give them a little bit of a shake. <clears throat> and then let's bring the feet together, soles the feet together. So we're coming into our Baddha Konasana position. If you need a little bit more support, Pop your blocks or pop a blanket underneath the knees here. That can be, feel really nice. Otherwise, just use your hands to open the feet. Let's just stay here in this upright position just to start off with. Again, gazing towards the tip of the nose if that feels okay for you. And now that we've come down to a seated position, Really let the breath slow down. Might even just want to close your eyes. Try to breathe into the hips and with each exhale, just see if you can just soften into that part of the body just a little bit more. Let's take one deep inhale all together. And then as you exhale, just start to fold forward. You can open your eyes again if you like, or keep them closed, whatever feels good. And then just bring the hands down. Just walking out just to where you can. You don't have to come too far here. As well as breathing into the hips, try to breathe into your lower back. 
You might be at that stage in pregnancy where you're starting to feel a few aches and pains around the body. And doing this yoga practice will really help you just open up and release some of that tension that might be building through the extra weight you're having to carry around. And then walking the hands back up. Let's open that right leg out to the side. It doesn't have to come too far out to the side. If you need to keep it further forward, just feel free. And then try to bring that left heel right into the groin. And then we're gonna just take a simple twist just over to the left. So this is an open twist, so it's a safe one for pregnancy. Right hand in front of you, left hand behind. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, just take that twist through the upper part of the body over to the left. Keep that right hip dropping down. One more inhale, as you exhale, just see if you can increase the twist just slightly. And then inhale to come back through center. I'm gonna place that right hand down onto the right leg, extend that left arm over, and let's take the left hand to the base of the head. So we're gonna use the hand to just help lengthen out that, that neck, and so that happens throughout the entire spine. And then if you're still feeling okay, you can just turn the head to look up towards the ceiling slightly. If not, just keep the head looking straight. Turn the head back to centre. Reach that left arm out. Inhale. Exhale completely to hold. And then inhale, coming back up. Bring that right leg in and extend that left leg out. <clears throat> Just taking that left leg out just to where you can, where feels comfortable for you. <clears throat> taking the twist, so left hand in front, right hand behind, take an inhale. And then exhale, just twisting over to the right. Allow that left hip to drop down. Really thinking about the twist happening in the upper body rather than the lower body. One more inhale. As you exhale, just see if you can find just a little bit more space in the upper body. And then inhale to come back to center, placing that left hand down, reaching that right arm over, taking that right hand to the base of the neck, and then just using that hand just to lengthen out the neck and then turning the head up towards the ceiling if you can. And this time keep dropping down through that right hip. And if you have to stay quite up high, that's totally fine as well. Don't worry about coming down too low here. And then let's bring the head back to center. Extend that right arm over. Take one more inhale. Exhale completely here. And then inhale, coming all the way back up. Just bring that left leg in. So now, if you've got your cushions nearby or your bolster, just grab one of your cushions, <clears throat> sit up so you can be nice and comfortable. We're just gonna finish with just a little bit of a mindfulness of breathing exercise, so very simple. Just make sure you're nice and comfortable. You might even wanna straddle your bolster if you've got that. <clears throat> Rest the hands lightly onto the thighs, just to start off with. Close your eyes. Let the breath be free and easy. And let's bring the left hand onto your belly and then the right hand onto your heart. And just with each breath, breathing into your hands. And 
and just let the focus be on following the inhale and exhale of your breathing. And you can take this time to have a sense of uh, the baby inside of you. going to stay here just for another minute or so. Just release the hands down onto your thighs. Let's gently open your eyes and we're just going to move into Shavasana. So you might want to have a pillow or a block for your head. So when you're pregnant in Shavasana, you want to lie on your left side of the body, especially after your 12th week. You want to have your bolster or your cushion in front of you. Lie down on your left side, let the head rest down, and then just grab the cushion and rest your top leg onto, onto the cushion there. And just extend that left leg long. So you might want to have two cushions. Just have it high enough so you're really comfortable. You've got heaps of space for your belly. And just rest that right hand in front of you. And once you're comfortable, just close your eyes. And so we want to just lie on the left side because we want to keep the blood flowing nice and easy. There's a main artery on the right hand side of the body called the inferior vena cava. And we just want to keep that blood flow nice and open for the little baby. So with each exhale here, let your body just become a little bit softer, a little bit heavier. Again, just keeping a very light focus on your breathing. Now you could stay resting here if you would, if you've got the time or if you prefer, please feel free. If you'd like to finish up with your Shavasana with me, 
and just gently start to open your eyes. Deepen into the breathing. And then just making your way up to a comfortable seated position. So just using your hands to come up. And let's come to a cross-legged position. Just whatever's comfortable. And let's bring the palms of the hands together into prayer in front of your chest and just close the eyes for a moment. Just noticing how you're feeling and the effects of the practice. And let's finish by bringing the fingertips in between the eyebrows for clear thought and to the lips for honest speech and in front of the chest for an open heart, bowing the head down towards your hands. And when you're ready, it's coming back up and you can open your eyes. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I hope that you're feeling good and keep taking care of yourself and I'll see you next time.